Hello and welcome back to my garage. In the last one, we got the El Chato completely rebuilt over here. Five stars all the way down the board. And in this one, I, well, in the last one, I was thinking about going down to the junkyard and doing a junkyard build. I think I'm going to scratch that. Um, I just want to go ahead and get a barn find, basically. I'm a little worried about doing a barn find in this one since we just got it rebuilt. So I think what we're going to do is head over to the auto shop uh, and buy uh, already running an already running car. It's in decent condition and use that to go get ourselves uh, a new barn find. So uh, let's head over to the auto shop here. There, kind of see over that seat. There we go. There we go. All right, yeah. So let's head over there. Let's hope we can find a good vehicle uh, to purchase that can at least get us to do pizza deliveries and get a barn find. Um, right now, my biggest goal is basically just to get over that 50 grand mark so we can get into, so we can buy the garage from old, dear old dad. Yeah, I don't want to ruin this. So, I'm going to take it fairly easy. Oh, and you know, I just found out, I didn't know there, I never knew there were freaking, uh, camera, uh, I, I did, had no idea I could change cameras at all until yesterday. I was messing around in one of my other worlds that I have. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Who knew? I bet everybody else knew but me. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing parked. Uh, three is kind of nice because you can move your camera around and really see what you're doing. Yeah, let's turn her off, hit the brake, and let's go see what kind of vehicles we have inside of here. And then there's actually another camera. Which, oh, well, you guys probably already know. I'm not even going to tell you about it. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, let's see what we got. Here we go. Let it load. I'm not going to turn around yet. Three, two, one. Give us something good. Well, well, well. Well, this is actually a good selection. These are three cars that I wouldn't mind having. Um, I would like to get one of these, but they do cost a lot. And that would basically... Put us almost near broke again. How's this one? 10,000? How's the engine look? And most of all, how's the suspension look? Um, exhaust is pretty crap. Suspension looks okay. Couple shocks, um, not too bad though. So I dig that. Okay. Uh, what about this puppy here? Is this the four door? It is. Okay. Uh, well, this suspension looks even better. We have uh, one control arm that kind of looks bad. Um, it looks like the differential is a little bit shot. Uh, how's the front? Oh, something's busted up here. Possibly springs. Okay. Let's see how the engine looks. Pretty junk. We got a bad block on this engine. How about this one? So we, this one looks actually pretty good. Not too much work. It doesn't look like too much work needs to be done on this one. And obviously this one's way overpriced right now. So 9,000 and how much is this? Okay, they cost the same. I think I'd rather have the Niv. So I'm just going to buy this. Uh, and we're going to take this out and do some pizza deliveries and just get a barn find right off the flipping bat. All right, there we go. And I wonder if I could turn this into a rally car. You know what I mean? I know I've seen people do the, um, the lads for rally cars, uh, but I feel like this might do okay. Uh, let's go ahead and give one more last look at the Chad here, the El, Cha El Cachado. All right. Yep. It was a beaut, but we're going to sell it. So what do we have? $10,000. This will put us up to 34. Yes, sir. All right. And let's go ahead. I don't know if we need to do any basic repairs to this before we head out. 
I guess we'll see how it actually runs. Um, let's see if we could find the dipstick real quick here. I think it's on the other side. Yeah, right there. Okay, the oil looks good. Brake fluid looks good. I'm sure this looks good. Let's just poke our heads in and see. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and I guess just head out. Um, oh, look. I forgot their scapegoat. Steve's parts. Okay. I did check him out yesterday on one of my saves. Uh, his prices are actually quite cheaper than if we bought them at home, which we could actually load some parts up in here that we need. So we might stop over and see him, uh, but let's get this started and let's see how much gas is in it. Okay, we're doing pretty good on fuel. I think everything looked fairly decent. Um, well, I was wondering if I should head back to the house and grab some tools or if we should just head out and just look. I think we'll just head out and look for a, uh, a barn. I think this thing's gonna run just fine. But I would like to put actually a different engine in this. Um, I don't know if I should do like one of the other uh, four cylinders because there's basically every liter all the way up to a 2.0 liter. Or if I should do an inline six. Well, the horn works. Oh, this thing travels pretty good. It's a little bit loud. Uh, so I got a four or five speed. Okay, it actually has a five speed. Uh, let's see where Scape is. So he's just straight ahead. Well, I didn't bring my wrench with me, so I don't think there's a point of going and seeing him yet. Well, yeah, I do want to see him. Um, we're going to go just stop and look, uh, talk to him. Oh, geez, we got a little bit of a traffic jam here. Okay, he's a ways up there, so uh, yeah, let's go. I guess I could have went to the pizza place first and then just seen him on the w on the way. Hopefully this ain't too loud. I'll probably have to turn down the volume a little bit, but I'm gonna turn down my headphones a little bit too, so I'm not screaming into the freaking microphone here. Okay, fifth gear. So he should be coming right up here to the left. Good old Steve. Let's see, where is he? Is he parked over here? Did I pass him? No, I think he's gonna, I should probably zoom in a little bit here. Let's just pull off real quick and give a quick zoom on the map. Oh, I went the wrong way. Of course I did. Okay. Well, let's go, oops. Let's go ahead and back her out. What is that? Is what? I didn't know there's a radio that I didn't know the radio worked. I actually never tried to use it. Okay. Well, that's quite interesting and hilarious. Hopefully that's not copywritten. God, and I can't even get this thing. There we go. A oh, little bit of a accident back here. I would help him, but I'm busy. Uh, turn off the wipers, please. Okay. There we go. All right, let's go see Scapegoat. My good old buddy. Just kidding. He's not really my buddy in real life, but he is my buddy in my mind. All right, let's out oh, there. He is. I see him. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just park. Oops, I guess I could have pulled in there. Yeah, there we go. Let's go see how he's doing. Uh, uh, and why we're here, let's see what kind of parts we could actually buy from him. Uh, I think it was, yeah, the center exhaust, or I guess the exhaust that comes out the butt end. Okay. And any engine parts I really need now, because I feel like 
when I do do this engine, I'm just going to throw a different engine. Okay, escape. Missing VIN just means you pay less. Is that a problem? Uh, no, that's not a problem. Thank you. <laughs> Missing VIN. Check his car out, though. I love it. I wonder if this was... Uh, I wonder if, if you could put your own decals in, in the game. Let's take a look at his car while we're here. Oh, uh, yeah. Looks like it's a fully built regular car. Don't see any bad parts on it, so he's doing good for himself. One thing I did notice, though, yesterday was there's no steering column. Which is kind of funny. Can I steal your car? No? Is, it, is this what you look like, scapegoat? Do you, is, this, is this what your look is actually like in real life? Okay, let's go ahead... And just buy that uh, exhaust from him right away. Uh, what are we driving? The Niv. And what is an exhaust part of the engine? Um, I don't know if it matters. No, I'm lying. Why would I buy an exhaust? I'm not going to be able to fit that in this car. Yeah, we're not going to buy the exhaust. All right. Well, hey, it was good seeing you, buddy. What time is it? Oh, it's just a big cloud. Okay, well, let's head down to the pizza joint. And get that rolling. All right, here we go. Oops, I forgot to put my clutch in. All right. All right, buddy, we'll see you later. Got the brake on, of course I do. Okay, can we get here? Let's see, what's the best route to get back to the pizza place? I guess I could have just went to the right there to the gas station. Um, well, we will take a right, which would be actually a straight for us, so we'll take that route. Yeah, I could have probably fit this, I could have probably fit the exhaust in here. That's okay, let's go. So it's 80 through here. I think we just need to go to the right. Oops, I can't even see. But I think we need to head this way. Oops, hold on. Let me just park real quick. Yeah, and if I just keep going straight on this, it'll take us straight into town. Okay. I don't think I need any gas. I mean, we are pretty low, but... Luckily, the gas is fairly realistic in this game, I feel. I could have bought a, ranch, a wrench, I guess. Alright, and I think we need to make a right. Yeah, it looks about right. The old Niv, I tell you what, this car drives pretty freaking good. I feel like it definitely rides better than the Lad. So it'll be fun turning this into an actual like rally car and do some races with it. But we need to get some barn finds out of the way so we can hit that 50 grand mark and buy the garage. Okay, here we go, and we just need to run straight through. Middleton, oops. Is that what this place is called, Middleton? All right, here's the pizza joint. And I uh, was told that you could actually sleep in the car, so that's great, okay. Okay, let's go grab some pizzas and get these delivered. Hopefully it won't take long to get a barn find. 
All right, let's head down to town. Oh, we have actually a lot in town. Oh, that's fantastic. Good, good, good. Okay, so we're just going to accept every single one of them. We don't have anything in our inventory bag. And let's go start delivering. All right, there's one just right here. Cha-ching. Yep. And let's look at the map. Now, uh, the rest are going to be over here. They're actually all fairly close together. I'm just going to run these by foot and skip the in-between. Oops. All right, there's another one. I think the other ones are going to be just right across the street over here. All right, here's the another one. This one here. And we got one more. Which should be... I think it's closer to the road, so I think it's right around this corner. Ah, I see. It's inside the little square here inside. So let's get this one delivered. Barn find, barn find. Oh, look at that. We got so lucky. Okay, I have an old barn. I definitely do want it. Yes, thank you. Oh my god, we got lucky. Didn't even have to leave town. All right, let's go head over to that barn find. I'm glad this did not take long. All right, we're back at the Niv. Let's see where that barn is. Okay, so it's way up there, kind of where we was before. Okay, well, there's plenty of ways to get there. Uh, we could go straight, then right, or right, then straight, and then right, left, left, right, left, right. Uh, so I think we'll just start heading out and uh, get over toward that way. Cool. All right. Oh, that was so nice. I'm so glad there was freaking five uh, pizza <laughs> deliveries here. All right. Uh, what time is it? 1600. Luckily, we can sleep in the car, which I did not know. So whoever told me that, muchas gracias. I, uh, I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Grazie, grazie. Okay, we could probably put our head up. I'm sitting a little bit low. Uh, let's actually head to the right this time. And then we'll work our way over through this way. I do like sitting like this, though. It's a little more realistic, I feel, on how I sit in my car. Um, I have the seat tilted back, you know. Okay, so I think we just need to basically just, yeah, we'll go left up here, or straight rather. Oh, yep, okay, there we go. doing fairly swell um hold on i think we'll just go north yeah north north again and then left okay oh hope we get a decent vehicle something that we can sell for a crap load of money hopefully it's a wolf uh we could rebuild that puppy sell it or maybe not even sell it or hopefully it's another freaking chad Worth 16 grand. We could just sell that right away. We'd be almost there for the garage. All we need is 18,000. I think I missed my turn. Oh no, I'm on the right track. Okay. Oh yeah, you know, something I keep forgetting to bring up. Every time I play this damn game, I think we need to go to the left. Yeah. Uh, something I keep forgetting to bring up every time I play this game is, does any of you guys remember Gearhead Garage? Uh, from like the late 90s? Oh my god, that was my favorite game. I actually have an old, old PC 
sitting in my garage uh, with just that game on it so I could play it. Um, oh, look at that little tiny house. Okay, we going the right way? We are. So we're going to go up here to the right, get on the freeway, and then make a left on the next exit. Okay. Yeah, gre gre uh, Gearhead Garage was like, basically, I think it was the first mechanic game. I would say that um, Car Mechanic Simulator was definitely inspired by that game. Yeah, so we're going to go right. Okay. And now this is basically, I think my garage is the best mechanic game out of all of them. Like, Car Mechanic Simulator is fine and all, but it's just too arcadey, if you know what I mean. Like, I wish they would make a car mechanic simulator that's more <clears throat> simulation style, like where you have to drive around, um, it takes time to get your parts to come in, more of a realistic, like, ledger uh, for your, you know, because you're a freaking car mechanic, so, like, the business side of it should be kind of fleshed out. Like, you should be able to look at logs on Car Mechanic Simulator and see, you know, the paperwork on the car that you, you know, five cars ago that you bought, you know, and fixed up and sold, and, you know, what kind of profit, how much you put into it. Like, you know, that game is missing a lot of the business aspect of, like, an actual freaking being a car mechanic. Okay, so I think this is the left. Yep, I think we're going out the right way. Like, this game would be great if there was some way he'd be able to keep a log uh, of all the vehicles that you've bought in and sold and what you've put into them and all that stuff. Okay, let's see. So it's going to be out here somewhere. You know, let me... I could probably just look around. Okay, it's going to be a little bit over here to the right. There it is. Okay, let's see what we got. Are we at the front side? It looks like we are. Has it spawned in yet? It has not. Let's just put this body part in the way so we can't see what it is. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. I didn't see it. Uh oh, I think it's a I think it's an El Camino, an El Chato. Uh, let's get the brake on. Let's turn this off so I don't don't die my battery out. Okay. And it is Yep, it's another Chad. How much is it worth? Not <laughs> Holy Cow, this is the worst chat I think I've ever seen in my life. The last one we got at the barn find was worth 16,000. This is worth 33 freaking 3,400. Is there no engine in this? No, there's totally an engine in it. What the hell? This thing like almost has nothing. Let's look at it again. Wow. Okay. Well, we are definitely towing this back home. Um, can we tow this stuff home? Of course not. Okay. Oh, wait. Is this a Bart? Oh, no, it's a Chad. Okay, there's just Bart parts. All right. Well, let's send her home. We're definitely keeping it. Uh, we're not selling it for this much. That's for sure. Yeah, that's a bit of a ripoff, if you ask me. All right. Uh, I'm going to sleep in the car real quick just so we can get some light. There we go. It's a bright morning. Uh, let's see what we could actually just load up in this thing. Quarter panel. Probably get some money for... Well, I don't know if we'll need this, but we're going to stick it in. Carburetor. Battery tray. Speedo. Yeah, this is a pretty poor bar and fine. Okay, let's get out of here. That's it. I don't think anything's up in the rafters, so... We'll head over to... Um pawn shop real quick and then we'll head home and uh start repairing that freaking that we'll start repairing that chad there's a road over here which road is it it's our main road so yep we'll just go up here take a right and then take a right onto the highway well, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not good at all. It's a 
horrible, horrible car that we got. But, I mean, that would have been a great car to buy and fix, not so much a car to find and fix. But let's get back to the house and uh, we'll start building up that chat. freeway? Nope, we gotta make a right. Right here. Anybody coming? Doesn't appear so. Oh yeah, we're doing alright. down below what you would like to see put into this NIV, what engine. Um, we could look at them and, and see what engines are available, but uh, if you don't, if you have the mod, you probably kind of know. If you don't, um, it's going to be basically uh, four cylinders from a 1. I think 2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, all the way up to a 2.0 uh, four cylinder. Uh, we could do turbo on that and everything. Or do you think we should put maybe the six cylinder in this, uh, in line six regular engine? Um, and if so, which one? Probably the biggest one, right? And then uh, we have two options for the six cylinder. We could either do the regular gas engine or we could do the diesel. So let me know what you think we should put in this car if you're, if you made it this far. Okay, where are we at? We're down by the airfield. Wish I could, uh, yeah, that looks better. This is a long drive. Oh, 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 there we go, which is also a great, a great game. Oh God. Oh God, okay, we made it. <clears throat> oh, I feel like all these guys are going to the racetrack. With that, um, Chad, so we know, how much did we sell, oh Jesus, oh my god, he's about to hit me. Did he wreck? I can't see, oh my god. Nope, he's still on the road. Um, I think we sold that Chad for what, 24,000? So, I mean, we could definitely, if we, if we could get that fully built to 24,000 again, or even semi-built, well, how much money do we need? We need about 20 grand. So I don't know what we'll do, actually. I kind of feel like the junkyard these days is a ripoff. Um, every time I feel like I buy a car from the junkyard, the damn thing is worth so much less. Uh, I feel like the auto store is less of a ripoff. I guess, I mean, we could always do another barn find after this is done. That's a possibility. I guess I could have did some more pizza deliveries and seen if we could get out a second barn find. I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can get per day, though. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, we're going down to the pawn shop first. We're going to see if we can make a little bit of money off of what we found in the barn. Um, I don't think that car would even be worth parting out, uh, the one that we got. But let's find out here. Uh, what was that pallet? I don't know if I've ever seen that pallet on the side there before. Uh, let's just stick on the brake. Can I get out? Yep. Okay. What? Well, yeah, what is this pallet? Oh, you're the same dude? Oh, dude, I did not realize... You run both places. Okay, what is this? We fill gas tanks. Price per tank. Oh, car gas tanks. Oh, that's actually kind of handy to know. 
I don't think there's anything over here. Okay, <clears throat> let's just go ahead and get this stuff sold. Uh, 72 bucks, that's good. 23, not the worst. 18, not the best. See how much we get for this crappy block. 50 bucks, okay, that's pretty good actually. Uh, window, $33, that ain't worth the jack. Trimming gonna be worth much. Carburetor, 38 bucks. Spacer, 15. Battery thing, yep, junk. Uh, how much is this? 54 bucks for that uh, motorcycle gauge. That's pretty good, actually. Four banger, oh, $235 for this. Okay, I like that. The trim, two bucks, 17 for the trim. Okay, well, that's more a little more than I was expecting. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Um, I don't know how much we came here with, but it, that was a pretty decent amount of money. Definitely a few hundred bucks. Okay, let's get to the house. There we go. Let's get to the house and do some basic repairs uh, and see if we could just flip that car right away. I mean, I don't want to put a crap load of money into it because then you, you start having d uh, diminishing returns, you know what I mean? Um, but we'll clean it up, do a rust repair right away, dent repair right away, bondo job and a paint job, and see how much we can get out of it. Because we need, what, 50000 Yeah. Uh, the paint shop ain't worth that, or it doesn't cost that much. I think it's only like a little over five grand. See what we get. Oop, come on. All right. Where did they park it? Okay, right there. That's good. Go ahead and just stick this right here on the side. And I hit the wiper again. That's fine. Break on. All right, let's take a good look at this and see what we're actually dealing with. So the engine isn't too bad. It looks like just the heads are bad, the valve cover. Um, I'm sure maybe the pistons, the air filter and stuff is pretty junk, some hoses. So not too bad there. The interior actually is not the worst, okay? Bad window in the back. Uh, how about the rear end? Okay, good gas tank. Fairly decent rear end. Okay, this actually might not be that bad of a build. Uh, let's go ahead and just push her over. I don't think there's a... Well, you know what? Let's see if it actually starts. I should have checked that when we were over there. Okay, definitely doesn't start. Okay, that's what I was kind of expecting. All right, let's go ahead and get this pushed over. Get it washed. And we're doing good. Let's go and just stick it a little bit to the right here. Okay, yeah. Um, first things first, we're going to give it a wash. It's actually a pretty nice color. Oh yeah, let's look at it first. So it's worth 33.9. Okay. Let's check the uh, condition or the, yeah, 
Well, it's super dirty still, so I'm not too sure what's up with that. I'm probably missing something that's obvious. Uh, yeah, let me just continue cleaning it and uh, we'll be back here. There it was, it was that tiny little freaking spot. Okay, so it's fully clean and it's still worth nothing. So next thing on the agenda, it's grinding time. Yep, not hammer time. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do the hammer first. Yeah, let's do the hammer first. Get See what, what needs to be pounded out. Oh, look, hold on. There's a big spot on the hood that I completely missed. Okay. Yeah, let's see what parts need hammering, if any. Okay, well, I think this car might actually be fully uh, not dented. Okay. And if we look at it, yeah, these parts don't look like they're like broken either. Oh, damn. Look at that tire. Okay. So let's grab the grind. Let's grab the grinder. There we go. And let's start grinding. Right, well let's look at the rust okay so we're all oh, wow look it's already at fourteen thousand. that's really really good okay uh i think it's well i think it's the, the last pieces right here could be in this under this front bumper as well oh yeah look right here's some oh yeah here's a bunch okay that is cleared we are at five stars now okay good um, but there is this little tiny bit left on here and I don't like it. I wonder if I can get it from this angle. Oh yeah, we got it. Okay, good. Oh shit, I'm in the car now. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, we sure did. Fantastic. Okay, let's look at it. 14.2. That's actually pretty good. What would that put us at? 33, 43, 44, 45, 46. 47 or just right under five grand um i think we could definitely get the color taken care of fairly easily uh we could definitely replace some of this stuff fairly easily yeah uh how long we've been going for decent time um let's see what should we do Let's just go ahead and paint her up real quick. Uh, we're going to pull off these door panels and just give her a fast paint job and we'll see how much it's worth. Okay. And I wonder what color we should paint this one. Uh, let's pull off that rear window as well. Fourteen oh five. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some paint for this and get her painted. Okay, I think we're going to do this color of blue. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's get her painted. Cue the music.
All oh, right, there we go. So we got five stars on the color correction. We're up to 17,000. Oh, no, we're apparently 8,000. Oh, what the heck happened? Oh, 17,000. 8,000. Okay. Well, I'm not too sure what's going on with that, but I see a little bit more dirt over here. Right. There we go. Seventeen eight overall conditions really bad, but um, I think we could do some pretty simple repairs uh, to get this up to par. But yeah, I think we will call it here. I think that's a good start anyway. Uh, Seventeen. So what would that put us at? Thirty two, forty two. Actually, we're at thirty three, forty three, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine. 50. Actually, if we just sold this right now, we would basically be at zero and uh, we'd be able to buy the garage. But I think I want to fix it up a little bit more. I want to have a little bit of money on us once we buy the garage so we can um, do some, you know, I don't want to have to do freaking actual regular job job. So yeah, we'll get this up just a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do a full blown change out. Um, you know what, should I just sell it? Should I just sell it? Because we haven't put no money into this. 18000 Yeah, I think we'll fix it up. This would put us a little over fifty, but we wouldn't have very much money left over to play with. So I think we'll just fix it up a little bit more and get it worth a bit more. Because right now it's at seventeen, and I think we can get this all the way up to 25 So... I don't want to put too much more money into it, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and replace some other things. But yeah, we'll call it here. Yeah, I think today was pretty successful. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully we'll get this completely. Uh, you know what? I don't know what to do. Should I just buy the garage? No. Yeah, we're going to get this rebuilt a little bit more and then we'll sell it. Um, and then we'll buy the garage. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we will see you guys on the next one.